Hello everyone, welcome to a beginner guide of Knights of Honor 2 Sovereign and uh, I will break down the basics how to build your economy common knowledge that you need to play your first successful game let's first talk about uh, uh, your economics up here you see your royal treasury income 35 balance plus 35 but you can Our also goal, click it sire. and here you will see a breakdown here we have a knowledge income uh, like religion and culture you use uh, these books as they call them to uh, make your rulers better and then we teach him to write My for example eyes are wide open and here we have a religion income and here we can see the overview here we can also select a shaman to adopt a belief and here we also see what it costs to accept Catholicism, Orthodox Christianity. These you can just hover over, but that's pretty much it. Here we can also see capacity is 1000. Books are also at capacity at 1000. And uh, depending on your actions and uh, what you're building, and uh, if you're doing uh, what you're doing game, uh, peasants or nobles or merchants will be happy but if you can keep everyone a positive note uh, you will get positive effects for example plus two percent merchant trade income and here cultural power our morale down and uh, less stability so you want to do actions that make your members of your kingdom happy because then you are getting more benefits what we want to do now, uh, here we see, for example, a vacant position. Click here in the, to hire a noble to a royal court. But you can also click here uh, on, a, on a city. Uh, here we can see a no governor. Here we, we can see the king or the um, chief, a tribal chief Mati is sitting actually in Helsinki. And here we see the king effects for that settlement. Uh, I can actually switch, comes here instead, and we can compare city has the best effect when the king is there i can uh, uh, click the vacant position and here i can choose uh, like hire marshal i can hire a merchant a diplomat shaman or, or a spy and uh, the introduction to the game kind of explains uh, what uh, how to do it but we will take a merchant to begin with where can we profit and uh, here we can uh, not governing any town, idle in court, you can exile, but we can also make him better. Plus two in the crop farms, but yeah, there's no crop farms in Turku. You remember, we can check, for example, if there is any crops, because he's, that's the place where he's going to be. Deals? Learning one, merchant secondary skill, cavalry tactics, or trading one skills that we can get. We can click here and we can choose to put him here uh, this way and he's chosen press ok tomorrow but we should richer. also be be able to click here and not governing a town and then we can click Turku. so then we're getting it and okay I will squeeze every last and piece here of you, it you. takes a while until he's there now let's talk about money uh, what do you want to do now is to click on kingdom the world at your fingertips and now you will see your neighbors pretty much and uh, their holdings now uh, we can zoom in a little bit and uh, you can see uh, every different nation we can click and uh, beg for an audience offer ask for a trade agreement if you play as finland uh, i will actually start with esti offer trade our agreement. merchant's opinion has improved uh, offer non-aggression pact. Uh, okay, well, they don't want to to, uh, to offer that yet, and could uh, actually ask them. Oh, they don't like us. Offer trade We've agreement. We've pleased our merchants, sire. And uh, we could uh, also offer non-aggression. So yeah, we, ha we haven't earned their respect yet. This is a great way to get an overhaul how to interact with the other kingdoms. And um, you can see when you click on the, uh, their names, like they neutral the to us, neutral, neutral. But sometimes when I do this correct, merchants in our kingdom applaud our actions. There we go. Uh, let's see if we get this. Mm, okay, so we're not getting the 
non-aggression pacts, but here we can see that merchant opinion is already four and a plus eight percent merchant income, more profit from colonies, espionage defense, and plus four influence. So this is a great way to boost up ourselves in an early stage. So yeah. And if we want to get back, we can press S or double click on any country and we're back in game. Arvinsburg, we can also click here, uh, like in this mode, uh, we can click here on their flag here, audience, offer, trade We've agreement. pleased our merchants, sire. Uh, we can also try to offer non-aggression, but yeah, this way uh, we can uh, get some trade going and uh, we are growing as a power now we can uh, click on our merchant any new deals and the trade with kingdom and here we can see with ast 12 but it costs 71 but uh, yeah, 50 with karelia but yeah uh, let's uh, do with livonia I and live okay for profit. here we're in the helsinki let's now start to talk about uh, building and uh, also making some money here we can check amber trade it will cost us a uh, 1800 and uh, production thousand so it will take some time but here we will get plus four coins and uh, for commerce so here we can see the overlook um, here we can choose to go with crop farming in Helsinki or with Amber Trade. And I kind of want to uh, want to point out, you see, prerequisites, uh, market square. So before I can do this, is I have to build market square in Helsinki. So I want to do that. And now this market square can be upgraded uh, with scribe office and will give extra coin also plus uh, one book production uh, tax collector but you here you see if we collect taxes we get more money but we will also decrease happiness we will also get uh, courthouse uh, two commerce three plus three province stability and fame and uh, with inns we get commerce, uh, villagers and happiness. So the, all the buildings you build. An example here, we can upgrade market square. So we would get plus two. The inn gives plus one. Uh, brand new harbor would it give us plus two food and plus two for, for commerce. So that's two strategies we could go. And shipyard would also give us plus six later on. Uh, you uh, you can later upgrade, uh, or these small icons show what you can do. For example, the barracks. Uh, with that one, you will get uh, town guards, quarters, swordsmiths, and all of that. So that's what you have to think about. Especially if you want to siege other enemies, uh, you need the siege workshop. <laughs> Um, if you cancel something, uh, I think uh, you get like half back. And if you remove a building, you get nothing back. But you can expand the city by uh, clicking expand town. And it, but it will cost you 2000. So that's uh, a little bit of how the building goes. Uh, you can also uh, here build squad and, and the, like uh, squads that will defend the city if you get raided or attacked they will defend you the basic one is peasants peasants will uh, eat upkeep but uh, all of them will eat and uh, they will uh, take uh, levi's to create but uh, when you have an army you can move them from here into the army so in that way you can slowly build up an army and uh, defend your cities at the same time. So here we go, buildings. Uh, when this is grayed out, we can't build it. And uh, we kind of don't want to go into crop farming here because uh, right away because it's uh, too good. But it's also necessary to have some sort of uh, food in uh, every town. But uh, I kind of want to try to get my income up first. But yeah, I'm also new to the game, so feel free to bash me in the comments. <laughs> <laughs>
but uh, we need charcoal and uh, that charcoal we get from the kern so when you want to produce something you have to get them somewhere uh, somehow into the country <coughs> so that's pretty much the basics and uh, when it comes to building here we can also check a little bit uh, what you have to do to get the best stuff and uh, you can uh, like check oh yeah i want to go for the libraries and everything but yeah now we have been talking about how to build how to uh, get uh, going with the basics so now we did uh, uh, get the trade deal and here we see merchant Pekko made sure there will be no obstacles to flow of goods between us and Livonia and is now looking forward to more opportuni uh, opportunities. While our merchant is there, he will look for beneficial opportunities that may arise. And uh, we went from 35 to 59. And so that, that is pretty good to, to make these trade deals uh, happening. And here we see small scale trade. It's 12, and it can be bigger due time. Let's see when we have done the trade offer non-aggression. Ah, not yet. And then we have some events. Foreign merchants have arrived. With our blessing merchant from AST have now set up their shops in our kingdom and are already exploring the trade prospects of our kingdoms. With our blessing merchant from Sarama have now set up their shops in our kingdom and already exploring. So now we have some more trade going on and I'm looking forward A to our relations. Has been finished, sire. And everything will become way better. How may I serve you? Let's see. King Midas will soon be a beggar compared to you. That's good enough make the income for example here we have just one book production but if we go here and scribe office and uh, we're doing this upgrade for 440 uh, we, we will be able to increase the production from uh, one to two not much but it's actually double so um, to have the currency for all the events that will uh, crave books religion money uh, you need to set up the basic production uh, and also already an inn um, so we get uh, more happiness but also more commerce and here we can expand trade gold will not be for a hundred gold we could uh, expand the trade with Livonia and uh, our merchants fine deal and there we go improve our trade stand with Livonia and range medium scale trade there we go and from the medium scale trade we're getting 25 gold so this is why it's so important to start uh, trading uh, we could even hire another merchant my name is worth many bags of gold trade with kingdom here we could uh, go with uh Eesti. I don't know if it's wise, riches, but it's Lord. possible. But like this guy, he is um, uh, giving us 25 gold, but getting another merchant, we, he will start with 13 gold, but he, after a while, he will also uh, start producing 25 gold. So then we will have a, a monthly income to plus 100. So that's pretty neat. And here is this uh, fulfilled, but here we can also see we're at our capacity right now. So we need to increase this so we can get more income. And so that's what we have to think about. But here we see the merchant trade income we have received is a uh, going up. Message. And Livonia. You will need some coal, and we both might benefit from a non-aggression pact. However, it's clear Finns need, need, needs it more, so we can sign such a pact only if you are, meet our demands. So, would you pay 900? No. We could decline. Can we be shady?
yeah. But they're at least considering it now. More about uh, building. Uh, here we have the woodworking in Turku. And here, for example, we need woodworking and sawmills. Oh, well, here we have sawmills. What's lacking? Gold. But same here, we need woodworking and sawmills. And uh, for the curl, uh, here, so everything is based in woodworking. But if you go, want glasswork, we need to first go woodworking, kilns, and up here. So, for example, if you want to recruit somebody, require swordsmiths. Oh, well, then you need a barracks. And there you have swordsmiths. You want uh, heavy spearmen. Yeah, need heavy armor smiths. Spear makers. Okay. Th then you know what to build. So depending on if you wanna want horses, for example. Okay. Then we need stables and spear makers. And then you get the idea what you should focus on right now. But uh, you also need food for the people that lives there. So if the city expands, more people lives there, you need to focus more on food as well. So that's that. And if you have a big army, they also need to eat because they have one crop in upkeep per unit at least. If this video helped you get going, be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like for the YouTube algorithm so um, you will be up to date uh, with, uh, with the game and how to get going. Thanks for watching and see you in, uh, in uh, the following video. See ya!